I'm going to be speaking to you about the sign rule again, but I'm going to show you something called the ambiguous case. That's why I like this picture here. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to just try to remind you about the sine rule. So um, if we know some sort of angle, uh, theta here, and let's say we know this side A, let's say we know that, and we want angle C, but we also know this side right here. So we, we have this, we have this, and we have the angle here. The idea is that you could use sine rule in order to figure out angle C. And do you remember how sine rule goes? There's two different versions of it. One says, you know, sine, you know, A over A. That's the side, right? So it's sine of the angle A divided by the side A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. Or, because there's another version, it could be just where it's uh, flipped, right? So it's side A over sine angle A and so on like this. Because this is the sine rule, just to remind you. So these are the two cases here, right? So I got this one or this one. All right, so, uh, so what's the big deal? Why is it an ambiguous case? Well, it turns out if you're using sine rule to find an angle, so if this is your goal is to do just what I outlined up above here, okay, if you're using sine rule to find an angle, you're given two sides, a short one and a long one, and you know the angle that's opposite to the shorter side here, it's possible to have two different solutions for angle C. Here's an example here, the way I've shown it like this right here. This right here could be length, let's say this here will be length A here, this here will be length C. This will be the same length C, the same length A, and the idea here is if you look at this right here, there's this angle right here that's possible for C, this one right here. But there's also this one, this obtuse one. So see, there's an acute angle that's less than 90, and there's an obtuse one that's greater than 90. Notice they both have a same angle theta. They both have a same length C. They both have a same length A. In fact, the trick is, if you draw it like here, the way it works, uh, let me just do it in a different color, maybe in red. If you notice this side right here goes like this, it's also possible to place it like that. So that's the way I like to think of it. It's like this one or that one. Do you notice that's what happened here? So I can show you sort of, that was the other side there. So it was like this or like that. So those are the two different solutions possible. As long as it still makes a triangle, you still have to check that the sides all add up to 180. But just so you know, at least these are the two different possibilities. All right, so let's see if we can deal with a real question like this. So we've got uh, triangle ABC. We've got, we don't have a drawing of it, so that's why we're supposed to try to figure it out. And then we have angle BAC is 40 degrees, side C is seven, side A is five. What's angle BCA? I like this in here. Again, uh, I had another meme like this was kind of similar. The teacher said, you know, life has its up and downs like a sine function. Like, nope, not this one. <laughs> it just goes down. <laughs> what was that? So let's try to draw ourselves some sort of triangle that could satisfy this. So uh, let me start with, well, I'll just draw a triangle and see how that goes. So maybe I'll do like a long end. Maybe I'll do like a, a shorter end here like this. Yeah, something like that. And I'll draw like this. All right, so let me label everything. So let me call this A, I'll call this B, I'll call this C. I know that this angle BAC is 40 degrees, so that's this one. Yeah, that's this angle right here. All right. And I also know side C is 7. Ooh, I know this right here is 7. And I know that side A is 5, so ah, uh, there. So the answer is, the, the question, sorry, is find BCA. In other words, BCA. I want to find this angle right here. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to go along and uh, try to use the sine rule. So I know that the sine rule is going to be the sine I mean, I could call it BCA, I guess. That's this angle right here. Uh, over its side, opposite to it, which is that one. It's going to be the same thing as a sine of 40 degrees over A. Oh, by the way, I also know A. I shouldn't have just called it A. I should have labeled it. Were you yelling at the screen when I said it? Because you should have. Uh, there we go. This value is actually 5. Because we're told this, right? We're told that A is 5. All right, so if I keep going, I got sine 40 over 5. Well, then let's find what sine BCA is. So sine of BCA, this angle over here, it's going to be equal to, let's see, I multiply by 7. So 7 times a sine of 40 degrees 
all that over 5. Right? That's what I'm doing here. And that means then that angle BCA, let's see, how do I undo a sine? I do inverse sine. That's the key here, right? So inverse, which is like this, of this answer right here. So 7 sine of 40 degrees, all that over 5. Let's see what that gives me. I need my trusty calculator out to do this. So I don't know this by heart. So let's just do it. So I'm going to do the, um, well, I'll just do the first part here. I'll do the, the multiplication. So 7 times the sine of 40 degrees, all that divided by 5. Double check that I'm in degree mode. Whoops. I am in degree mode here, but I didn't do the 5 here. That was my answer, and I have to do the inverse sine of that. Inverse sine of the answer. So do you notice I get 64.1 degrees, let's just say? So I'll say that. I'll say that's a BCA. I'll maybe state my conclusion there. So angle BCA then, BCA, is approximately equal to, and it was 64, let's just double check what the answer is here, 64.1. All right, so 64.1 degrees. There we go. That's my answer. And I'm done, right? No, 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 that's the whole point of the ambiguous case. There's something else possible. So I'm going to try to draw like this and say, or, maybe I'll do it in big letters or something like this. Uh, nope. I mean, I go like this, I'll just write it like this. I'll say, or. So there's another solution possible. Right, and that would have been if I drew it just like this right here. So I'll try to draw it like that. So I could have had it like this. Except, I would take this piece right here. Remember, instead of going this way, it could also fit that way. That, that piece that's 5, it could also fit that way, maybe. We'll have to double check if it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But we'll just double check that it does fit. So that right there should also be 5. Uh, let me just make this one here a little bit longer, just so it sort of matches the drawing. I'll make this one here match a little bit the drawing like that. Something like this. And then, of course, it goes across. Let's see if this triangle fits. So it has to still satisfy all the same criteria. So A here, B here, this here would be C. Um, this angle still has to be 40. This here has to be 7. This here has to be 5. Now the good news is we already know a lot of this. We know this little piece right here. Um, well, this piece right here, which is this 64.1, turns out that's the same as this one right here. Because remember, I, I sort of drew it going like this right here to make like a isosceles triangle here. So that means this angle here would be the same as that one. So let me just show you this. That means this angle right here then, maybe I'll do it in a different color here. This angle right here, I already know this angle. This angle right here is 64.1 degrees. Well, if that's 64.1, then I can find the complement of this. Because remember that adding up the two angles, this angle plus this angle, has to equal 180. So, aha, I know that angle BCA, this new BCA at least, will be equal to 180 minus 64.1. I mean, keep in mind, it's approximate, right? It's not exactly. Uh, so that means, let's see, BCA then will be equal to, let's just double check, whoops, just trying to make it look clear here. To angle BCA, let's see, 180 minus 64, that would be 116, uh, 115.9. Is that right? Yeah. All right, so there's my second answer. Now, I have to double check that it really makes a triangle because sometimes you get this answer, but it's not a real thing. Let's just double check. Well, 115.9 plus 40, there will be 155.9. And then that means that, yes, does that mean that there's something that could fit here that's you know adding up to 180? Yes. So I haven't sort of broken any rules. So there's another answer possible. So to see in this case right here, there was an ambiguous case. I mean, it's a little bit obvious because I have a video about ambiguous case, but here we go. It was ambiguous because there were two different um, answers still satisfied all the criteria. That's what made it ambiguous.